Welcome to Voice of the Covenant Bible Study. I'm so glad you're studying the Word of God with me. I hope you have your Bible, maybe a notebook, maybe you've downloaded the notes. We're going to go deeper. We're going to conclude our beautiful study this week. I hope you'll be, you're ready and your heart is open to receive from God. Let's pray. Father, I thank you that we can pray together and we can come together before the throne of God, no matter where we are in the world today, that you're right in our midst. We ask your blessing on our study time today. Open our eyes and our ears to hear what you're saying. Lord, so that we can apply the truths that we learned today. In Jesus' name, amen. You know, all this year we've been looking at great passages of Scripture that reveal different ways of looking at our theme, which is, what shall I do for thee? And we're going to look again today in John chapter 8, verse 32, which is our foundation verse for this study this month. Today we'll conclude our Bible study titled, Freedom in Christ. And this month we've been focusing on what God has already given to us. You know, sometimes we talk about asking God for something. This is something he's already given us, and we're going to walk in this freedom. The more we learn about it, the easier it is to walk in this. You know, last week we learned to let the purity of the gospel push out the pollution of the world. We saw that we don't have a problem with sin. Sin has a problem with us. We also learned that Christ Jesus is the only liberator of the human race. We saw that we should not accept bondage of any kind and bring into captivity every thought to the obedience of Christ. Now let's read John chapter 8, verse 32 again in the King James Version of the Bible. It says, And ye shall know the truth, and the truth shall make you free. This scripture makes it clear that truth destroys bondage of any kind. And notice that it's the truth that you know that makes you free. And let's turn to Isaiah chapter 53. It's in the Old Testament. We're going to read verse 4 in a moment. You know, true freedom has been available for over 2,000 years. You see, freedom thinking is right thinking. And the world would have you believe that you should live lower, but God wants to raise you up spiritually first and then in every other area of your life. Did you know that one of the most precious things that Jesus has given to us is our freedom from grief? We don't need to go into a grief when a loved one passes away. Although we miss them, Jesus took our grief. Now let's read Isaiah chapter 53, verse 4. Surely he hath borne our griefs and carried our sorrows, yet we did esteem him stricken, smitten of God, and afflicted. You know, if you let Satan beat you up with grief, he will destroy you. He will take your joy if you let him. Why? Because he's a serial killer of joy. But Jesus sets you free from that. You can know that you will see your loved ones again, so you can rejoice in that. And you can have the joy of the Lord in your life and also have emotional happiness too. That's just the th one thing that you are free from. So don't let the world tell you that you have to fall into a state of grief. As believers, we know that this life isn't all there is and that when we die, we just move locations. That's it. Our loved ones move to heaven and we'll visit them there one day. There's no point for us to think like the world thinks and let the devil beat us up with grief. So while we may miss our loved ones, we don't grieve for them because we know the truth and the truth has made us free. And the truth is that Jesus took our griefs because he knows we can't carry them. That's why he carried them for us. We are here, they are there, and there's still work to do and people to reach for Christ. We should want to take as many people to heaven with us as we can. And we should want to see as many people as we can living free right here on earth too. All of us should be beacons of light in a dark place, refusing to be in bondage because Jesus has already set us free. And now we're going to take a look at the last part of our study this month. The Word is a generator of faith and freedom. Now don't complicate that. This is how you could stay up all the time, even in the midst of trouble. The faith generator, which is the Word of God, keeps the light shining within you at all times. So let it do its job, and you can be known for your joy too. There is joy in the presence of the Lord. It really is. Have you come to realize that his word isn't only full of wisdom, it's also full of truth, and the more you know it, the more it will set you free. 
It's not just words on a page. It is life flowing to you. And it's so simple. All you've got to do is open yourself up to God's word and believe it. There is joy and power in simple faith, so don't complicate it. Remember, you don't have to live in bondage to anything. Search the word for the truth that you need today and every day. Really, not a day should go by that you don't get into the presence of God and meditate on the word, the truth of his word. Don't let that go because it's what's going to stroke the fires of freedom in your own life. Remember, your freedom is always going to be tied to truth, so don't let go of truth. Refuse to accept the shackles of past bondages. You are free, and it's Christ's doing. So no matter what you encounter, focus on the truth that sets you free. Now let's turn to Psalms 121, verse 1. We're going to read that in a moment. You know, we don't want you to let your eyes just get fixed on problems. We need to raise our eyes and see where our help comes from. Notice that it doesn't come from the world or the problems. Read, let's read Psalms 121, and we're going to read verse 1 and 2 in the King James Version of the Bible. It says, I will lift up mine eyes unto the hills from whence cometh my help. My help cometh from the Lord, which made heaven and earth. Isn't that powerful? That tells us that our help comes from the Lord. Jesus is the answer to all the problems, and he is the truth. He is in you right now at this moment, ready to liberate you and fill you with his presence. He is ready to give you just what you need to walk in true freedom in Christ today. That belongs to you. Praise the Lord. Well, we're already at the close of our study. I know that you've learned some things. I know that God is touching your heart and giving you new insight into what really belongs to you as God's beautiful, free child. Let's make our final confessions today, and then we'll close in prayer. Number one, freedom thinking is right thinking. I am free from grief, and I have the joy of the Lord in my life. I am a beacon of light in a dark place, and I refuse to be in bondage. Number two, God's word is a generator of faith and freedom. Jesus liberates me, fills me with his presence, and gives me just what I need to walk in true freedom today. Praise the Lord. You know, I want you to know that you are free in Christ. We make these declarations because they're based on the word of God. And each time we say them, we seal our, it goes deeper into our heart and our hearts are renewed and we start, begin to experience it and expect it and it changes our lives. I hope you've enjoyed the study this month and that you've learned how free you are in Jesus and it'll help you to get you a spring in your step and open up your eyes to what God has ahead for you in life. Let's close in prayer. Father, I thank you for the word that you've given us, that we can study your word and see all the beautiful truths that you have for us. Lord, I thank you that it's the truth that we know that sets us free, and we have true freedom in Christ as a believer in you. Lord, I ask your blessing on everyone that's been studying the word of God with me. Touch their life today. Lord, help them to realize how much you love them and care for them and how you're right there with them every step of the day. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. God bless you. Welcome and thank you for watching our YouTube channel. Remember, subscribe and hit the notification bell. You don't want to miss anything. Do you hear that clicking sound? That's you clicking and subscribing and hitting the notification bell. Yeah. Ding, ding, <laughs> ding. Do it today. Now. Bye. This media is copyrighted by Jesse Duplantis Ministries for the private use of our audience. Any other use of this media or of any pictures or accounts without Jesse Duplantis Ministries' consent is strictly prohibited.